Hi everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my December Marked As To Read video. So in the month of December I marked a total of 20 books as to read on Goodreads, so let's jump in and talk about all of those books. So the first book I want to talk about is The Night Country by Stuart Onan. I heard about this one um, over on Peter Likes Books channel and this is a horror type story for, I believe about a horror thriller about um, a group of um, teenagers I think it was who were in a car accident. And I think there were five of them and then two of them died and then I think it's a year later and the three remaining like survivors of the car accident are trying to recreate the car accident because they don't think that they um, should have survived and that they should have died as well but I believe it's got like it's like kind of ghostly type story um, Peter like books had good things to say about it and I'm always up for a creepy scary ghost story Next, I want to talk about The Sisters of Glass Fairy by Kim Michelle Richardson. This is a historical fiction, I believe, set in the South in the United States that follows... I'm, I'm not too clear on exactly what it's about. I saw it on a Goodreads post about books hitting shelves in the next seven days. But it's about um, a girl, I think, who her family is heavily involved in the whiskey industry and like um, aging whiskey and she is the only person who her grandfather left like his secret recipe um, to but there's he also was hiding all these other secrets so I think it's just got a lot to do with like secrets and family and like I said it's set in the south and I really enjoy stories set in the south so it just sounded like something that could be a really interesting read. Next we have The Raging Quiet by Cheryl Jordan. This is one that, that my real life friend Emma actually recommended to me and I believe this is a young adult historical um, novel about, I believe it follows two best friends and one of them is deaf and they have developed a way of communicating through hand gestures, so I presume kind of like sign language. Um, but then something happens and they end up being accused of witchcraft. That's all I, that's all I know about it um, that I've managed to gather. Um, but my friend Emma recommended it to me and so I want to read it. Next I have not one, not two, not three. I have six books that all came from one article um, on BuzzFeed about books that will seriously fuck you up. Uh, as soon as I saw that um, like headline on the article, I was like, well, <laughs> I want to know about these books. And so I have six here that I want to talk to you about that I got from that article. The first of those is Good As Gone by Amy Gentry. This one is about a family where um, one of the daughters of the family was kidnapped in the middle of the night and the only witness was her sister. And then the family has managed against all odds to kind of stay together and has kept hoping that this daughter is still alive um, however it's I think a few years later and there's a knock on the door one day and it is this girl and she has returned but I think it's the mother has doubts that this girl is actually her daughter and then I think a private detective gets involved and it all just kind of surrounds that like I said basically just the recommendation from this article just put this kind of books on my radar Next we have The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchison. This is a, a, get a horror thriller type story about a man who he kidnaps women and holds them captive in this garden. And I think he tattoos butterfly wings on their back and he calls these girls like his butterflies. And I believe the story is told from the perspective it's after this garden and these women like have been freed and you're following um, this one survivor as she's telling the story of the garden and the gardener to um, the police or the FBI or something like that. It just sounded really, really interesting. And I've actually heard a couple of people um, talk about this one on BookTube and it's always sounded really, really intriguing to me. So it's definitely something that I thought at some point I would check out. Next, I have Beauty by Susan Wilson. And I literally know nothing about this one except that it was recommended on that article and that it is a Twisted Beauty and the Beast retelling and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite fairy tales So that was just enough to intrigue me next is Trust No One by Paul Cleave This is a thriller about 
a man who is a very famous um, crime like thriller writer himself, but he has recently been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. And I believe he then reveals, I think he's staying in a nursing home and he reveals that all of the stories that he wrote were true because he committed the crimes, but no one believes that he committed the tr crimes and they think that he's being like manipulated and that it's his dementia and things that's making him say these things. And I think it's about you trying to unravel whether he, his stories are real and whether he committed them and things like that. That just sounded very, very intriguing and like would be a really interesting kind of twisty thriller to check out. Next is Keep Quiet by Lisa Scottline. And from what I can gather from the synopsis of this one, it's more of a family-based thriller, like a more like literary thriller about a man and his son. And I believe the man makes some kind of decision to help protect his son, like out of love for his son. But, but through this decision, it um, causes a lot of guilt and a lot of issues. And I think it strains his relationship with his son and with his wife and just his family in general and things like that. Um, so, like I said, it was recommended on this article and it just seemed really interesting. And the last one I have from that article is um, Gentlemen and Players by Joanne Harris. This one follows a boys' school and I think it's about all of the secrets and stuff in the history of the school. Um, like, it's a new year for the school and there's a teacher who comes, but the teacher's got some connections to the school's past and then all this weird stuff starts happening. That's all I know about it. Again, it was just the fact that it was recommended on this article that made me want to read it, basically. Next, I have Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. So this is the winner of the historical fiction category in the Goodreads Choice Awards. Um, and it just sounded really interesting. It follows, um, I think, some siblings who are trying to stay together after they were taken out of their home while their father was away and put into it a orphanage and it's about them like trying to keep the family together and then I think it might have a dual timeline as well and there might be some other stuff going on. Um, I generally enjoy like literary historical fiction sometimes and it is set in the south all of those types of things um, and like I said it won the Goodreads Choice Award so it made me want to read it. Next I have another book that was recommended by my friend Emma and that is White Gardenia by Belinda Alexandra. And I, I don't know too much about this one again, except that it's another historical fiction. Um, this one following, I think, some a Russian mother and daughter following a decision that the mother made to try and keep her daughter alive um, in World War II. But I think it's set after World War II, um, like a few years or like a decade later or something like that, like following the repercussions of this decision that she made to try and keep her daughter alive. I think that's what it's about. Like I said, my friend Emma recommended it to me and that was basically enough. Next, Goodreads did a blog post about the most under-the-radar books from 2017. And one of those books in particular really I thought sounded interesting, and that is Reading with Patrick, A Teacher, a Student, and a Life-Changing Friendship by Michelle Kuo. So this is actually a non-fiction memoir about a woman who was a teacher and who ended up um, teaching a boy who was in, or like, young man who was in jail for murder. I think it's about their relationship and their friendship through her teaching him. Um, it just sounds really, really interesting and like something quite different from what I have read before. Next, I have Copycat by Alex Lake. So I actually heard about this one on Joss from Squibbles Reads channel. She actually didn't enjoy the book, but the premise just sounded really, really interesting to me. And so I thought I might check it out. This is a thriller novel about a woman who discovers that she has two profiles on Facebook. So she's got her profile, but she, there's an identical profile with her name and all of her pictures and current pictures um, that she didn't create. And I think it, it's got some other pictures like taken inside her house and of her family that she doesn't remember taking. And so it's about kind of trying to unravel what's going on with this second profile. Like I said, Joss didn't have good things to say about it, but it did sound like a really intriguing premise to me. Next, we have one that's been getting a lot of buzz on BookTube, and that is Moxie. And I want to read this one because it follows, it's a young adult novel that deals heavily with feminist topics and that's really interesting to me. I believe it's set in a high school in Texas where there's all kinds of, a lot of sexism going on and the main character um, starts publishing 
this kind of feminist zine and leaving it in the bathroom of her school and it ends up sparking this really um, big like feminist kind of movement within her high school. I, all the reviews that I've heard about it so far have been really really positive and like I said I'm really interested in feminist themes in books so I, I thought that this would be a really interesting one to check out. Next I want to talk about Then and Always by Danny Atkins. This is one that I actually heard Jen from over at Today and Jen's Library talking about and it is a novel about a woman who I think there was some kind of tragic event in her life and it's years and years later but she's always wondered kind of what if like regarding this event if it didn't happen and then she has some kind of accident and ends up in the hospital and when she wakes up her life is completely different as though this event didn't happen and she's trying to figure out kind of what the heck is going on so basically it's got really a kind of like a sliding doors style premise and I love any kind of books that deal with that kind of what would happen with it if a decision was made, if a decision, like if you took different paths, that whole type of thing I just find really, really, really fascinating. So this is definitely something I think that I would enjoy. Next, we have the first book in a new adult romance series um, that was recommended by um, Lisa from over at Books and Smiles. Um, I don't know anything about this except that it is a new adult romance and that Lisa recommended it. Um, it's the first book in the Elements series. Like I said, I don't know anything about it, but anything that Lisa really recommends, I want to read. Not because I necessarily think that I'm going to love everything that she loves, but just because I want to read and have an opinion on everything that she loves, because that's how much I like Lisa. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely something I want to read in the future. Next is Dead Beautiful by Yvonne Woon. This is one that I actually saw Ben from over at Benjamin of Tomes talking about. And this is a young adult novel about a girl who has the seemingly kind of perfect life when one day she discovers both of her parents murdered and she ends up being sent to a um, by her uncle I think to like a boarding school and then like some weird stuff starts happening at the boarding school so basically this has got a lot of things that I like it's got murder it's got a boarding school and it's got like weird shit going on at a boarding school that's basically enough for me Next is The Mitford Murders by Jessica Fellows. So this one I actually saw, I received an email from Book Depository about the best books of 2017 and then I was drawn into this one because of the cover. And this is a historical mystery, I believe, about a woman who ends up becoming like the governess type of thing to these two girls. But then they are somehow drawn into the murder of, I think it's Florence Nightingale's niece or granddaughter or something like that. And she's murdered and they get drawn into like the mystery of the murder. I say that just sounded really interesting. Next is I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. So this one I was actually recommended um, over on Gabby Reid's channel. And this is a thriller that I don't really know anything about it except that I believe it's supposed to be quite different. Like the way it's told is really different but I'm not really sure how. And I think it also... I think it's got something to do with someone being stranded in a deserted high school. And I think, uh, if I recall, I think it's got something to do with the girls stranded in the deserted high school after she goes with her boyfriend to visit his family, maybe? I, I don't really know. But like I said, I've heard um, interesting things about this one and Gabby recommended it. And so I just thought that it would be something that I would probably want to check out. And the final book I want to talk about is The Reunion by Samantha Hayes. So this is one that I actually saw the cover on Pinterest and I just looked into and sounds really interesting. I believe this is a February 2018 release and it is a thriller novel about a woman who when she was a child she was on the beach with her little sister and she was responsible for her little sister but she let her little sister go up to like the shop to buy an ice cream or something and her sister never returned and went missing and it's years and years later and she's at a some kind of reunion of the friends that she had from around that time and it's about all the unraveling of all the secrets of all of these friends and finding out what happened that day on the beach so I love anything with those kind of like secrets in friends and reunion of friends and all that type of thing. I'm really, really into that type of thing. I love thrillers. This is one that I thought would be a fun read. So those are all of the books that I marked as to read on Goodreads during the month of December. I would love to chat in the comments down below if you've got any thoughts on any of these books, if these are books that you're wanting to pick up or you have already picked up. I would love to chat down below or any books that you're really, really excited about that you've been marking as to read, I would love to chat about those as well because I'm always looking for more recommendations. This is actually the last of the kind of like 
end of month videos that I'll be posting for December and next I should have my kind of end of year videos coming up so definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to be there for that and like this video if you liked it that's all I've got for this video today bye guys